Is anybody here ready for Hillary? This yeah. event has a Latino angle. Is anybody ready for Hillary? Yeah. All right, welcome everybody. It's so great to have everyone here. My name is Walter Tejada. I'm one of the members of the committee to organize this event. I want to give you a very warm welcome and ask uh, everyone that's in the organizing committee, as I call your name, to come up here and join us as we uh, begin the program. So. We are delighted to uh, be in the, uh, the middle of the campaign. Virginia's going to play a major role in what the results will be. And we want to make sure everyone does their part. And i got to tell you, I'm looking at this crowd here, and you know, hey, we don't like to make generalizations, but this crowd here is kind of generally representative of the United States of America. That we're yeah. Unless some people otherwise that isn't the case here so I want to uh, be grateful and uh, express our gratitude for everyone that took time to be here today so I want to uh, uh, make sure name the, the, the folks who made this happen to the there on the committee first I want to ask uh, he's already here. <laughs> yeah, he's a civil engineer. You know, bodyguard. But, you know, but this guy's an ordinary guy. I mean, first of all, he's a veteran. He served our country with oh, distinction and pride. And all the veterans here, here. raise your hand. And let's give him a warm hand. All the veterans. Colonel <laughs> Lentoro, great member of our organizing committee. Also in the committee are Tyler Tucker, Natalie Penedo. Come on up here, everybody. Lenny Gonzalez, Armand Azad. Rosalia Fajardo, Lola Quintera, Quintela, Wendy Thompson Marquez, Darío Marquez, Nelly Santiago, and yours truly are some of the organ members of the organizing committee. So as the program gets on their way, I want to make sure to make some recognitions. First, you know, I just say a moment ago, ready for Hillary, right? Yeah. But, you know, many of us didn't know that expression until somebody stepped to the mic uh, to, to the plate and we're done with other people co founded Ready for Hillary. Woo! It turns out that it's her birthday today. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to Alita Black. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Alita, so make your way, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Say that our, our guest of honor uh, today also had a birthday in just yesterday too. So that applied to him as well. We will be hearing from him very shortly. Our United States Senator the Pride of Virginia, U.S. Senator Tim Kaine, will be here for that moment. We have some uh, distinguished guests that have joined us that are there in the audience. Uh, first, I want to recognize uh, a, a, a great friend. Uh, 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 someone who's uh, part of the McAuliffe administration, his official title is Deputy Secretary of Veteran and Deputy of Affairs, but he's here in his private capacity. He's just simply today as Jaime Araciaga Soto, another veteran. Yeah. Jaime. Yeah. Now, we're going to be asking a couple elected officials to come and say remarks. I didn't see any other elected official, but I know there's at least one candidate for the county board this year, Eric Gutschel. Eric yeah. Gutschel, where are you? Thank you for joining us, Eric. Eric Gutschel. Yeah, no, they're, they're speakers. They are speakers. So we're going to recognize them now. They are speakers. All right, I'll mention it now. We're going to be here pretty soon for two state delegates. Uh, we're here from uh, state delegate Eileen uh, Fuller Court and Alfonso Lopez. Raise your hands now so we can see you. Yeah. In fact, coming up now so you can hear when your, your time is uh, going to be a random moment. So, uh, I also want to announce before we get started with the speaking part that we have some packets oh, yeah. that we would like those who uh, want to volunteer and help us distribute whether today or tomorrow. Uh, we have some packets for getting out the votes for Hillary. So they are ready in the back and Sue uh, Kess Kess Kessner, who's over there with the light yellow uh, sweater, waving her hand frantically over there. Please go see Sue. Tell her that you want to volunteer and help us distribute those packets around Northern Virginia so people can get the word and make sure they don't forget to come out and vote on Tuesday for Hillary. Thank you, Sue, for doing that. Yeah. Are there any other members of the Obama administration cabinet have joined us? I know we respect them perhaps. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, indeed. We have 
Let me make sure I had your, your card. What the heck did I do with it now? <laughs> All right, sorry. No, no, it's very important. We recognize the talent that we have. The uh, Obama administration has continued to make it reflective of the diversity, the summon and denial that it might exist in this country, but not the Obama administration. We also have joining us the Honorable Larry Romo, who is a federal agency head in the Obama administration. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. I always ask if anybody that we haven't mentioned, right? So thank you very much uh, for joining us. So now, let's move on to the speaking parts of the program. We are delighted to have with us two state delegates who will share some remarks, some brief remarks. Let's first welcome from a state delegate who represents Fairfax. Let's give a warm welcome for Eileen Fielder-Corn. Eileen! Yeah. 